Welcome to my kitchen. On uh, today's session is an Indian cuisine and it's a very popular Hakka food. Hakka food is basically Indian and Chinese cuisine and the recipe name is chili chicken. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy cuisine and uh, very easy steps to follow. I'll show you the recipe so let's go to the ingredients. For the chili chicken recipe, I'll walk you guys through as I add the ingredients. So there's two parts to it. The first part is the marination and for that we need chicken. So I have one pound of boneless white meat here and if you like you can choose dark meat as well. But then you need to slice it or cut it into like really small pieces here because we're going to be um, deep frying this. So I have here chicken, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the pot. Next we'll need is one egg. So I'm going to go ahead and have one egg in this. And uh, I'll be using one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch. So I'm going to add about one tablespoon, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and some salt. Salt is to your own taste, so I'm adding uh, one teaspoon. And the reason I added cornstarch because that makes it crispier more. So we'll mix. Alright, so the last ingredient that uh, I need in this mixture is some hot sauce. So it's up to you what kind of hot sauce you want to use. So I have here my favorite uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce and some uh, Asian Chili Hot Sauce. So I'll be using this and I'm just going to use about one teaspoon and mix everything well. So I have a generous amount of oil here and my heat is on medium. And we will, once you mix everything and you're going to deep fry it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, toss this to deep fry. It took me between 10 to 12 minutes to uh, deep fry the chicken here. So you want to make sure it's nice and crispy and I can go ahead and take this out. This is ready now. Now for the second part of the Hakka chili chicken recipe is that we need to saute everything. So I have some vegetables here. I have some bell pepper here, onions and green onions as well. So up to you what color you want to choose and you can go with the regular onions as well. And I need some garlic here, so I have about 5 cloves of garlic chopped and crushed sort of and some green chili pepper. This is optional if you don't like spicy but this recipe is supposed to be a little bit spicy. And about 1 tablespoon of, uh, one and a half tablespoon of vinegar, this is optional if you don't like. And we need some soya sauce, so I'm using, uh, you can use any brand of soya sauce. And we also need some uh, thick soya sauce which is also known as the uh, soya bean sauce. So this part is optional too, you can just use with, with soya if you like. Alright, so I have about 2 tablespoons of oil in the same um, pan here. I'm going to go ahead and add the chili and the garlic. You need lots of garlic for this recipe, that's the secret ingredient to it. Next add all your vegetables. I have been sauteing everything for about 3 minutes and I've been stirring the whole time. So next add the chicken. I'm going to add about 1 tablespoon of vinegar to this and some soya sauce, about 2 tablespoons. Now 1 tablespoon of the black bean sauce which is a thick soya sauce. And now the chili chicken is ready, so everything took me about 8 to 9, 8 minutes pretty much. And here is our homemade easy recipe on uh, Hakka Cuisine, which is the chili chicken. And you can serve this on top of uh, Chinese sticky rice or fried rice. Also goes very well with uh, any type of Manchurian or Hakka noodles. And um, I do hope that you guys get a chance to try this wonderful recipe. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.